Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Italian Pyramid of Bomarzo can be considered an uncomfortable find. The megalithic structure was discovered back in 1911, of course, it was not explored. In 2008, the pyramid was rediscovered by local resident, Salvador Fasci, it was cleaned by ordinary enthusiasts, but archaeologists and historians never showed attention to it. The reason is simple, it is not clear, in what historical epoch to put it, in fact, the history of the Roman Empire is painted literally on months, and about a pyramid, there is not a word. By its design and form, the find does not fit into the generally accepted ancient history of Italy. It was decided to attribute the megalith to the Etruscan era, and call it by the traditionally vague universal term, altar. A very interesting find. We don't plan to study it, of course. Wars, fairies, and subterranean dwarfs are not fairy tales. Stories about gnomes, fairies, and subterranean dwarfs are nowadays perceived as fairy tales. Although until the 18th century, it was not surprising to travelers and local peoples that creatures of small stature lived near them. The settlement of Scarbray was dug up in Scotland after a hurricane in the 1920s. The settlement was founded before 3100 BC and had existed for about 600 years. The stone walls, beds, ceilings and doorways were designed for occupants up to one meter tall. In size, the people copied Egyptian, Italian and Slavic dwarfs, and in Britain itself, dwarves, elves, fairies and leprechauns make up a huge part of the cultural heritage. And now the archaeological part as well. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Mahenjo-Daro, Pakistan for many decades archaeologists have been concerned with the mystery of the city's demise. In 1922, the Indian archaeologist, R. Banerjee, discovered ancient ruins on one of the islands of the Indus River. Even then, questions arose, how was this great city destroyed, where did its inhabitants go? The excavations gave no answer to any of them. The withholding of artifacts by official history. In the last few centuries alone, a huge variety of artifacts of all kinds have been found around the world, some of which, to a greater or lesser extent, cast out on official history. At the same time, almost all of these artifacts lie in museums, many of them, by the way, have not even been studied. Some finds simply disappeared, after being sent to laboratories and for other research. And you can also wonder how many artifacts could disappear without any mention in the media and the internet. After all, many studies and excavations are not really mentioned to the public. From all this, it is possible to draw one more than obvious and logical conclusion 
the official history hides many findings on purpose, as they can change a lot. Although even now there are enough findings to somehow change the approach to the history and the past, but it really does not interest any of the official representatives. Chinese Mirrors These ancient mysterious bronze mirrors are called Chinese mirrors, although they were found in Japan and Russia. One side of them is absolutely smooth, and on the other side there are various drawings and ornaments. These mirrors are well known to artifact lovers, but few know that they have an incredible property, if they're smooth side, to send a ray of light, then the picture is reflected, which is applied on the reverse side. That is, these mirrors completely violate the laws of optics. At the same time, the reflection becomes three-dimensional, that is, it is a kind of 3D cinema of ancient times. It is still unknown how the ancient masters were able to achieve this effect. Kailash Temple in India The ancient temple of Kailas in Alara was carved into the rock stone by stone, according to mainstream history, of course it was made by hand. The dimensions of the courtyard are 82 by 46 meters at the base and 30 meters high. The structure is a freestanding tiered temple complex of 2,000 square meters. According to his story, it took the Hindus of the Rashtrakuta Empire 20 years to build the temple, processing 200,000 tons of rock. This means that 27 tons of rock must be processed per day. In addition to this temple, 33 rock sculptures are carved into the same rock. How miraculously, centuries ago, did mankind manage to build such gigantic structures without the technology known today? In April 1561, a strange celestial phenomenon was recorded at dawn in Nuremberg. Witnesses noted hundreds of spheres, cylinders, and other strange objects, moving chaotically in the sky. People described it as an aerial battle. This was followed by the appearance of a large black triangular object, and then its crash outside the city. What could it have been if mankind didn't have any flying machines at the time? A more intelligent life form? This fact is officially documented, the documents are in Switzerland, the city of Zurich. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.